Hi everyone, it's Lisa from Canine Cliffs. This is Teddy. Teddy is a Yorkshire Terrier who's coming for his first groom. And he is about four months old. So he hasn't been groomed before. You can see he's a bit nervous. Okay, man. And actually he's already been bathed by his owner. So I'm just going to be doing, showing you the trimming of the face and uh, feet and bum area. <laughs> and uh, see how he does here. So this is um, kind of when you have a puppy for the first time, of course, they're not going to be too excited once you get all this stuff out. He's nervous. As I said, he has a couple knots on the top of his head here. I'm just going to take those out before we get started. It's okay, I know. That's what happens when the puppy starts getting his uh, turning into his adult fur. He gets a little bit matted, so just a few little knots in there. Good boy. Yeah, got a good boy. it for the knot so okay so we got all those out so you can just see it's just from the old fur to the new fur so it just kind of has a little snag in there so. Okay, and he's not going to like any of this process, as anyone who has a puppy would know they're not going to stay um, still exactly. Once they figure out what's going on, no, they will get a little calmer, and once you know what you're doing as well. So I know these are big scissors, but I've always used these scissors. And uh, so right now I'm just using these two fingers and holding the back of the jawline. So he can still move, as you can see, but I do have some control. And um, and then when he does move, I know when he's gonna move, so I can move and adjust my scissors as needed. Just gonna angle those bangs a little bit for him. It's okay, bud. No, no, no. And again, it's just kind of letting him move around and then wait till he calms. And go in there. And you can use whatever type of scissors you want. There's some of that have the tips rounded off. It's just whatever you prefer. And the reason I am so fast is because I have been doing this now 17 years. It's just 17 years this month. So I did not start out this fast when I'm trimming around the face. But after doing it for so many years, you do get faster, obviously. <laughs> you do it. You're trying to find a way out, but he's still actually really good. There we go. You got it. Hi. I'm just trying to pull that hair down up a little bit so I can get under it. There. There, and I'm just kind of trying to layer it away from the eyes and the face. So we are just doing a trim. And the face, feet, and bum today. Oh no. Hey, no. Uh oh. That's sharp nails. Those puppy nails. Okay, 
Okay, so now he can see. I'm just going to trim a little bit around his ears as well. Just outside of the ear canal. Okay. And actually, I will pluck those out as well, because they are full, and you can see they're a little sensitive when I touch that hair. So what you want for that is a really good set of tweezers that really grip really well. I'm going to pull him and hold him against me, so now I just have that finger just resting under his chin, and this kind of behind the head there. his hair in there. Okay, we're going to do the other side. Yep, put that ear over. So same thing, trim the hair around there. So I don't want to accidentally pluck this hair. So I'm going to just keep him like this. We'll see if he'll stay. Usually when you do one ear, they stay still for the second because they know what you're doing and it does feel better so this just helps prevent ear infections and that wax doesn't have anything to stick to good boy that table up for me and I'm gonna work on his feet now so I do use scissors for the feet as well let's see he's got quite a bit in there I find that they are a little bit calmer when I use scissors these are again the big scissors so you can use different sizes whatever you're most comfortable with but I've always used these ones I think I've been using these same exact brand and style of scissors for over 15 years now. Took me a few years to figure out what kind I wanted, well, felt most comfortable with. So try out a couple. See what works for you. nails. Yeah. Good boy for his first cut. And of course, I'm also very confident in what I'm doing, so that will help 
um, relax the dog a little bit. So if you're very nervous, the dog is going to pick up on that as well. So just with time, you'll get more comfortable and your dog will get more comfortable as well. Hey, stay. No, keep your nose away. <laughs> Better check it out, eh? I know. Hey. Hey. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Let it be. Got a little hey sap in there. Hey, hey, no. There we go. A little pine cone and some sap. Cut that out. It's just important to keep doing what you're doing. So he's being really good. And if you need to take a break, just keep, you know, if he's not listening, just, just kind of keep holding on and take your break. Hey, look at it. Hey. And then stop when you want to stop. So if you need to... Take an hour, take a minute, whatever it is. Just the only stop whoop, when you're when you're comfortable in stopping, not when he's not listening. No. There we go. I just like to be right in there. Hey. There we go. His silver's coming out there underneath. Quite typical for the Yorkies. I'll do this one now. And don't tug on the leg either. So he's pulling, but I'm just holding it in place. And I don't want to pull him back with the leg, so you move him with the body. So he'll kind of pull at his own comfort level, but making sure that you're not pulling. So you don't want any injury. But you also want to let him know that you're in control. So you don't want to be tugging at all. You just want to stay in place. Okay. 
And again, he's being super, really good for a puppy. Good boy. It's okay. You never know how they're going to behave. But the more relaxed you are, the better they will be. But again, that's because I've been doing it for many years. So don't worry if it takes a while to groom. When I first started, it took over um, three and a half hours to groom a dog. So you're just going to get comfortable in all the aspects. Oh, keep your tongue out of there. Okay, now just trimming up the bum area. And then we'll be all done. So I'm just going to use scissors on this area. And for underneath, I'm going to use the clippers. Make sure you won't be a little nervous because this will be the first time with clippers. Oops, I just got to plug them in. Okay, I know. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I know. No. 
scissors okay so always just be careful where the ends of your scissors are if you're focused in on one thing you don't want to cut something you're not intending to just because he's a little bit nervous with the clippers I'm just gonna finish with the scissors but by the time he's for his next cut I'll be doing the clippers on the whole body so then he'll probably act a little bit differently because his clippers are a little bit more noisier and of course the vibration and everything. So we're just going to kind of clean around where he pees and stuff so I'm not, uh, so the owner doesn't have to worry about it getting dirty. Hey, oh no. There you go, baby. All right, and there is our little boy all trimmed up. So again, we did leave the body. And I just trimmed up the face, feet, and bum. So if you like this video, please uh, let me know in the comments. Please give me a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe to my channel. I really like that. There we go. So there is our little boy all done. So thanks for watching everybody and of course you can always uh, trim up a little bit more if you don't like it hanging down but right now we're just cleaning up so you can still look quite natural but still be able to see quite nicely <laughs> and he obviously is a little bit more relaxed now good boy okay he's a little tired too <laughs> you're gonna have a good nap all right well thanks for watching everybody we will see you again here, I'm just going to trim that little spot right there, baby. Yeah, it's a good boy. All right. See you guys soon. Okay, let's go back.